Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming guys and today we're going to be going through the first four boxes that we got from Barnes & Noble during our first live dive. If you didn't check it out, make sure you go back and check it out. We're thinking of doing this maybe once or twice a week because it was a ton of fun. And two, I wanted to do the mail openings but I know a lot of people said they sent stuff in and we only had one thing in there as of now so if anyone else sent something out and I should be on the lookout for it, let me know in the comments so I know to keep going back. Uh, I know Richard for sure said he sent, sent a box, a few other people did so I just want to know what I'm looking for. But anyway, we do got the four, first four boxes, so let's start going through it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Leave the video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you follow us on our social media links. P.O. Box address is in the description. <sighs> let's get into this stuff. It's all really heavy, so I'm expecting a lot of books. Any books that can be used, of course, we you guys know we donate all the books because I don't read. This one looks more like school supplies almost. Hope these aren't new. No, these are new. See, these are what I saw the other day. They had another two boxes in there. These, but these are they were um, 2017. These are 2018 calendars, July of 2017 through December of 2018. So it's like halfway used, but it can still be used or donated. And we got let's see a couple different colors of those: a blue one, a black one. We got a, a few blues actually. Two, three, four, let's see. I'm not even gonna count no more. Too many. But there's a whole stack of the blue ones. Oh no, our favorites. Calendars. <laughs> we got a few marine calendars. I don't think we got any marine ones last time actually. So these are actually new. But we got a few marine calendars. Let's see. What is this? Elf pets? Something you got dress a stuffed animal up in to look like from um Rudolph movie? I don't know. Another weekly planner, 2018. The 2017 ones I left behind because we still have, if you, right behind the camera, like this tall, maybe eight to nine boxes full of calendars and stuff we can't get rid of. So we don't need no more. <laughs> Planners. Another planner. Um, trash. I almost made it. We got, let's see. Whatever these are. City windows. At event calendars for Christmas. Oh well, just 24 days of Christmas this year. I don't think it matters, so we can put this stuff away with the other Christmas stuff we found until next year. And we got a few more like random calendars. Like we, before, we got like a bulk of the same ones. Edwards Curtis, the Wild West, Islands 2018, more Wild West. Now here come the duplicates. These are all islands, all island. More Wild West. Uh, let's see. Fishing. And Alaska. I always want to go to Alaska. Has anyone been to Alaska? If you've been to Alaska, let me know what it's like in the comments. I really want to go one day. Get out of my way. Alright. Next box. Ugh. Let's see what we got. It's about to go down, aren't they? That's alright. Hi. <laughs> alright, let's go through some of these books here. So, we got quite a few copies of this right here called... The cat and something, it's blocked by the sticker. Right there, the cat, the devil, and Lee Fanata, or whatever. I can't tell, the stickers are all over the cover, so. We got one, two, two of those. Three of these books called Glimpses of Heaven. And these are all be taken right to the library once we get a chance and donated. The Girl and Alfred Hitchcock Shower. Really random books. If anyone's heard of any of these and they're any good, let me know. I mean, I'm not a reader, but I'm always curious. Wow, this one must not have been good at all because there's a lot of them in the trash. Can you ever imagine like putting so much time and effort into writing a book, years and years of schooling, effort, writing, just to find like a bulk box of it in the trash? Can you imagine how it would feel? Uh, essential building games. All right. We got some of these. The Alfine something blocked by the sticker right there, but there's three of those. I'm just going to show you one of everything. How to be happy through marriage. If you need a book, you, you shouldn't be married to them. <laughs> uh, Aunt Dimity and the Family. The Aftermath. Sixth Grave on the Edge. I'm so not a reader. And Wake the Dawn right there. So a bunch of books and like I just said, I know somebody will take them when we donate them. They're always happy to get the books. And it just, it drives me crazy that the libraries that take all these donations are maybe, what, five minutes away from Barnes & Noble? Maybe 10 if you get stuck in traffic. But anyway, you're gonna trash all those books and people can use them. It drives me crazy. Let's go to this one. Ugh, got some more books here. 
We got how to win a Roman chariot race. All right, if that's still a thing, I don't know. <laughs> the extraordinary origins of everyday things. That actually sounds like it could be kind of interesting right there. Like a how it's made type book almost. And a bunch of this lady's books, all in the trash. Forgiveness, yep, forgiveness in the trash. Um, an ocean book. Uh, science and flashpoints, that actually sounds interesting. I'm a big science boy. I love reading science stuff and learning science stuff, so. Let's see. Martin Short, or Shark, I don't know. It looks picture on the back, he looks like a creep. <laughs> no offense, Martin. <laughs> Ooh, hands on, ew, hands on Android development right there. Is this all programming? This is. I've been wanting to learn to program in Android to start building apps. Like I said, I know a lot of languages. I've never done uh, mobile development before, so I've been really wanting to get into that. And another copy of Forgiveness. If. Okay, I gotta make a little bit of room here. Let's see. Get out the way. Get out the way, calendars. Get out the way. Alright, let's go to the last book. Or last box. Ugh. I don't know if I should put this one on camera. I swear if I get demonetized for putting this on camera, I'm gonna be mad, but I gotta show you guys. Book on Hitler, the swastika on the front. I know they hate anything to do with Nazi Germany or the swastikas, even if it's freaking like historically accurate information, it's not depicting anything racist. It's just a book. I know how YouTube is about that, but we got a few of those Hitler books. Um, let's see. Ooh, a lot of these. The Bloody History of America. These are all hardcover right here, too. That actually also sounds interesting. I like history, too. The only subject I really hated in school throughout my entire time was foreign languages. I liked history. I loved science. I loved math. I just ooh, I could not learn a language to save my life. That one's a little banged up, but that's that book again. Let's just call it the German book so YouTube doesn't get all PC and mad. Uh, Linda Fairstein. <laughs> That last name with, okay, I'm not going to make that joke. With the Nazi book is just, yeah, I'm not going to make that joke. How to be a productivity ninja. All right. So many books in the trash. Ooh, an immigrant's journey to the cosmos. I love space. Now, let me tell you, if I thought that I'd be able to find a good job in the astronomy field, I would have majored in astronomy 100%. It's my favorite subject in the world. I just feel like there's a very, very small job market out there. We got, what is this, Nicaragua? I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. Uh, oh, a weekly planner with cats all over it. And it's good too. We got, let's see, oop, household hacks right there. Another interesting one. This douche. Let's see, we got a few more bloody history of America books in there. We got a uh, color sensations, nature, calming designs, the color and display right there. And at least, let's see, hold on one second. Four more copies of this, the Bloody America. On the back of it, it looks like it has Civil War. On the front, it looks like almost like mobster time, like the New York Mafia, and stuff like that. But anyway, that's four boxes. We got five more in the car. I don't know if they're all full of books or not, but we just wanted to bring in four because I am lazy right now and I want to go back to playing video games. But still an awesome haul. Nothing I could personally use, but again, I love doing this because we donate this stuff to everybody else and we know how many people all this stuff will make happy. A lot of this stuff's history, science, and stuff like that. Why can't that be donated? You know schools can use that kind of stuff. It's literally academic material. Donate it. I don't care about your write-offs. You get write-offs for donating too. <sighs> okay, that was my anger for a second. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if again, if you sent anything to the P.O. box, please, please let me know down in the comments below because I need to know what I'm looking out for right now because I know some people are in different countries. I think somebody said they're sending stuff from the UK. You could be on the west side. I'm all the way on the east side. So let me know if you're sending stuff and where you're at. If you got tracking, just let me know like when it's supposed to be here so I know when to go back and check. But again, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster driving videos every single day. Tomorrow we will be going through the rest of all this. Make sure you follow us on our social media links. P.O. Box address is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, Peace out.